We engaged for several hours with the Met Police to try and find uh, a compromise or a way through uh, so the event could still go ahead safely, um, sort of in collaboration with them. And um, unfortunately, they, they, they were unwilling to engage with us um, in those conversations. And so both for our sort of personal risk um, and also more importantly for the safety of people that wanted to come along, we decided that the best thing to do was to cancel. Safety was the top priority from the start, from I think it was Wednesday evening, which seems like a million years ago when this all started, um, safety was always number one and we engaged with the police, you know, from that point onwards. Um, yesterday, you know, several suggestions were put forward by um, by my colleagues working on this. You know, we, we discussed the possibility of having several different slots throughout the day or having people sort of coming and going in, in a slightly different way um, but but there was just not a way through unfortunately we wanted it to be as safe as possible from the beginning and we had all sorts of plans in place ready to go um, and ultimately you know to go ahead with the police working with us would have been the safest thing to do um, because we would it would have meant that we could sort of keep keep an eye on what was going on and enforce social distancing and those sorts of things and um, unfortunately that now that's that's no longer possible um, but I do want to emphasize that yeah from the beginning we were taking the safety precautions incredibly seriously.